Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and Wonder welcome Bots. to Maze. Right, yes, there are two <laughs> of us. Sometimes I forget to pluralize. Anyway, we are the collective. Uh, new game. So what is Maze? It's like a weird adventure game about Shh, intelligent corn, don't apparently. Give it away. I'm giving it that. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. But is the corn out to get you? Yeah, I don't know. Do you need to help I don't know that corn? bit. I don't know that bit. It just all the footage looks creepy. It looks weird. This this is probably going to be one of the weirder games I ever play. But that's okay. I like this logo actually. Let's Now the question is, are there going to be corn mazes? Not a clue. What I'm worried confused about is whether or not there's going to be audio for this. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, see so wake up. And you're in a... Whoa! That was not animated well. <laughs> that was just corn. Yep. Whoa, whoa, wait. So... There's an outhouse and stuff? Can I go into the cornfield? No. No. Figured as much. Okay. Honestly, I feel like we're supposed to follow the path. I, I think it's weird how bouncy the camera is. I know it's supposed to simulate walking, I, but... I think this game is in VR. Like, oh I, right, it's supposed to be meant for VR. Yeah, so, yeah, here. Can I see if I can turn off the motion blur? No. Anti-aliasing, pose processing. Well, no. I guess we're stuck with it. I really don't like motion blur. It makes me feel sick. Oh, the limited yeah. FOV might also be an issue too. Ah, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to admit this beforehand. Uh, seeing as with adventure games, Shell and I tend to bicker about things, and that will happen. Also. I don't think this is going to be one of those where exploration is truly rewarded, seeing as it's probably a fairly low budget. Well, let's take a look at that. There's a game. sign. Water. So I was this just saying way. that the water was that way. Yeah. So All this right. this is just to tell us where to go. Okay. Go look left. Idly hodly. Okay. When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Oh, it's going to take your DNA. No, I don't think it's going to take our DNA. I think we're going to have to come back later. This is a nice looking door, though. But it has a hand, except yeah, you, you but, need something else. Yeah, like, I, I look, we don't, I, as far as I can tell, I don't even have feet. I'm an anthropo, I am not even an anthropomorphic. Okay, so there's the house. I am a floating camera. We don't have hands, Shell. We don't even have DNA. Hmm. We are just a, a finger pointy camera hand thing. Make sure that you look at some of the ears as you pass by. I mean... Oh, most of them are hidden. Yeah. It doesn't look like any of the intelligent ones are, are going to be hanging out around here. And There's probably another path yeah. on the opposite side if it's that transparent. So usually when I'm playing these games, I'm very particular about like... Or I'm, I'm kind of erratic with oh, my hey. camera. Oh, hey! Is this the first fork or is the one on the right that much shorter? Don't know. No, it is a fork, but there's just There's a dead end. Flowers. Oh goody, a corn maze. I actually like I like mazes. Made mazes in scrap mechanic the other day and it was really fun. But Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're trying to be they're trying to be charming. Which honestly is probably okay. But yeah, usually when I'm playing these games I'm looking around crazily, trying to like spot everything while I move. Okay. In this one, I'm actually probably going to do almost no actual, like, hammer movement if I can avoid it. Alright, so we got an English muffin. <gasps> Do those signs weird. just move? I think so. Items you can use will be added to your inventory. A welcome letter. Okay, doesn't look like we've got too much else. Can I pull Let's up look my... in the drawers. Can I pull up my inventory at all? This is... No, there's... There's nothing in the oh, little drawers there. Oh, that is... See that there? Oh, that's your That's marker? the shadow for the English muffin. Oh. Wow. Oh, English muffin. Hard, to, uh, hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. <laughs> can you check the... Uh... Well, I can, I can yeah. de-equip the muffin. Yeah, de-equip the muffin. No, so... I what about the little nothing. drawers on the... No, I can't interact with them. Uh, they'd light up if I did while I passed over them. Ooh, this this FOV motion blur is going to me uh, is going to make me sick. Let's look around. I like the forest. Let's, or I mean, the trees. It's not so much a forest. Now, oh, so there's a windmill up this. Oh, but 
Mega Oranges. Produced, produced by US of A. Handled with care. Super Sonic Postal Service. Oh, here we go. Welcome note. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Okay. Well, it looks like we're... Okay. What was that? I do have a sprint button. Uh... I just thought I heard something, or is it just the grass? Oh, you you were able to step on some yeah. grass at the base of the tree. This is nice, actually. I I, I dig the uh, Ooh, I has... dig the visual effects here. There's a dead looking stock back there if you want to look at it, but what like this? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the only one I've seen. So so, that's why so I shall I I know you're kind of going for the the mist thing already. Like look at everything. There are clues everywhere. I somehow doubt that's going to happen. I could be wrong, but it just it doesn't feel like Whoa, there are going to be statue? clues everywhere. I think it's going to be some pretty big, is it obvious the, is set it the pieces. For farmer, the well, creator. First and foremost, let's grab the broken shovel handle. Okay. Oh, you can use you can use it on the one and two keys. Can you like poke? I don't know. I just wanted to observe this guy's magnificence. <laughs> Unfortunately, the god rays are making it kind of hard to observe him. Well, that's probably why they placed it there. They knew that at this particular time of day, the sun would be, uh... Oh, yeah, no, it makes sense. It's just, I'd like to actually look at this Aww. dude. He looks kind of great. I, I like the style they're going for here so far. It, it, it seems charming. Okay, I, uh, and... Boxes don't want me boxes. to go to the windmill. What's the other one here? Oh, that's just probably the supersonic logo. Yeah, this looks nice. It reminds me of the Uncertain in a lot of ways. Uh, which was an adventure game I played a little while back. Ooh, that's one of those old cars with the flip-up yep. uh, lights in the front. Can you open the trunk? Or anything? No. No. No, usually you can tell when stuff is uh, interactable because it's got a white outline around it. Like, well, uh, I'm not used to that in games. So yeah. Usually you put your cursor over it and it tells you. I, I'm kind of glad they don't. I really am trying not to move the camera as much as possible. And when I do, I might or might not close my eyes. Oh, hey, there's a window to the basement. No, but there's also a thing over there. What is that? Uh... It's like a giant floating donut thing. Well, one way or another, let's go inside. So, yeah, see? Okay, can we... There's the swing. Yeah, interactable objects are in white. Oh, they have which a... Which is really nice, actually. Nice porch. If it had been maintained properly. Even there's... There's wear even on the interior door. A locked door. Oh. Broken shovel handle. Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you wanted to tip something over. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse, uh, because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you, and would like to ruin its day. But we haven't even been upstairs to the second floor of the house. Yep. How are we supposed to know that we're supposed to use this to tip it if we Not have never seen it? Let's try. Looks like we got some stuff in there, but... Doesn't look like I can interact with Basement. it. Basement. Oh. It looks like there's a, a latch in there, but I can't hit it. Okay, let's go this way for the time being. Maybe we'll find a key somewhere oh, in the hey, back. Oh, hey, hubcap. Oh, is this a chicken coop? Oh, that's a yep, it's a chicken coop, though. It doesn't look like there's been chickens here for a while. This actually reminds me of my... I mean, it looks exactly oh, hey, like key. my uncle's. hey, key! The farmhouse key. This looks exactly like my uncle's chicken coop, which is really weird. Well, like, down to the feeder. I mean, they, they make them in a similar fashion. Though yeah, that's, that's not the feeder that the one chicken drowned himself in, right? Uh, that one is, right there. That? Yep. You should might as well tell the chicken story while yeah, you're at so it. Yeah, so my uncle had has chickens. Uh, he's had several, like, runs of chickens. And one of the one of the chicks, kind of like mid-grown adolescent or whatever, Aww. managed to cram itself up the slots here effectively you fill this thing with uh feed yeah. and as they eat it around this dish it you know comes out via gravity right the chick chicken whatever had dug its way down through here crammed itself up here and managed to get itself stuck here at which point it died I, either it suffocated it was crushed to death or it, it you know ran out of water i don't know but effectively, uh, all, my uncle noticed all of his chickens looked particularly ama emaciated. Oh, whoa, so none of them were eating from yeah, the Yeah, they feeder. didn't want to eat food from the, uh, the feeder where their, their sibling had just, had killed itself. 
Yeah. What's this? A nail. Okay. Doesn't look like we can do anything with the nail for the time being. What's this? A mediocre rock added to the fo folio. A mediocre rock? What makes one rock better than another rock? Um, I mean, shape, aerodynamics. <laughs> yeah, there are definitely some high quality rocks out there. I'm not oh, talking oh, about like gemstones and stuff. I would gauge stuff. a rock by its substance, not necessarily. Oh no, I am I am an exterior rock kind of person. If it's got that like nice, like generally I only want it about half an inch thick and like kind of palm sized and flat. Mm, that's good skipping. That is good skipping. Wait, so you only care about the slate rocks? You don't care about rocks See, that I don't have like, like slate different rocks. stones R in them? Slate rocks suck for um. For, for skipping? For skipping. They're, they're good, but the problem is they're usually kind of unevenly weighted. You want you want the ones that are like oblong and even the entire way through. <laughs> uh, slate rocks end up hurting your fingers because they tend to have more jagged edges. And that's uh, that's that's not a fun. There was a ding. Well, yeah, it's because we solved a puzzle of sorts. It's so dark in here. Okay, what's that letter? Okay, we got a, a, we got a couple of things. So mediocre. We'll we'll start with the mediocre rock. Okay. This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. <laughs> okay. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Oh, so that's the guy. Uh, cost in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injury sustained chopping down oak tree. <laughs> wow. That's... So, I feel so like this was... game is trying to go for the, like, um... Uh, Stanley Parable levels of, like, quirky humor. So far, they're kind of towing the line between quirky humor and, and like, pointlessly, uh, humorous. So, is this two and a half so million? Yes, that is two and a half million... Two million of it was the tree. Yeah, we don't know if it's US what? dollars or what, but... Wait, all of the numbers are 2.5. Yeah. So that's wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. Bill it to looks like... Bob of Factory. Is that Bin or... No, Bob Company Bin. Address... I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if those phone numbers are actually dialable. And someone dialable. placed a coffee on it. Yep. Okay. Oh, I always wonder that with video games or novels or something, if someone puts down a phone number in it. Uh, what was I playing recently? And someone tried calling Oh, the we were playing Abduction, and they had a phone number. Did we actually ever try dialing any of those numbers? No. We I kind of want to at some point. Ooh, a book. Really boring mystery novel. So I feel like a lot of these are just collectible things that we just grab. I want to see the history novel. Night Danger, a McMurphy mystery by Reginald A. Hidden Botham. Oh. <laughs> I like the, I like the weird moose. moose. <laughs> Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about a detective buying a pair of pants. What? <laughs> okay, I'll give it to him. It's kind of funny. Go slowly, will you? You're not really gonna use that crate. Don't judge me. Okay, so there's the plug. Let's put the plug in the tub. Can you put the plug in the tub? Nope. Oh. Oh, but you can put the plug in the sink. Are you gonna make it run and then the, uh... I mean, that would provide water. Nail clippers, your favorite item. Look, I get hangnails really bad. They're also handy for like cutting things open and stuff. Which is kind of handy. What is this? Sausage grinder. Sausage Something is jammed grinder. inside. Uh oh, what is jammed inside? Not sure. Can you? Well, can you like pull I the can handle to get whatever it. it is out? Oh wow. Rancid corn oil in sink. The smell is worse than imagined. Maybe you're setting this up for something. Or you, or you can't put the Presumably, in the I kind of wish the character would, would like, have a reason for doing these things instead of doing them semi-automatically. Oh, is that a secret compartment? Yep. Unlocked a secret door, making it much less secret. Okay, well first we're gonna go upstairs. 
This is neat. I, I dig I wanna this. I want to know what's stuck in the sausage grinder, but you couldn't interact with it at not, all? No, nope, not yet. We need, a, we need to find a tool to Was there a way to turn it. on the light so we can look in the other room more? Or, hey, you can put the crate there for some reason. Oh, right, you need to tip this over, don't you? Tip the wardrobe over with the broken shovel handle. Okay. What's with the... Oh, I see. The fruit crate was... You use it as a lever. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, more boxes. Yeah. These are ostentation apparel. And, hey, look at that sink. What, the fact that it looks gross? Just like <laughs> half the other things in this game? Because, yes. Doesn't look like there's too much in here to interact with. Just well, neat little bits. At least it isn't uh, abductioning us with a bunch of, like... Joke collectible objects that that we can't interact with beyond picking up, looking at, and being like, "Well, that was that." Now they just get added to our folio, folio with like a weird, quirky dialogue thing. Oh, this room is very bobby pink. pin. A bobby pin. Maybe you could use things like that to dislodge whatever's in the sausage grinder. I was thinking it would unlock doors. Well, bobby, that bobby too. pins almost always are for Used. unlocking doors in games. Yeah. I blame Fallout. Ooh. Attic. Okay. Hey, maybe this is uh never mind, I'm not gonna reveal anything. There's a garden gnome. Where? To the right. Oh. It's just funny looking. Fuck. Look at him. That guy would totally shovel your heart out. Whoa, hey, is that a portrait of the man outside? Uh it might be it, it, actually. He has that same creepy grin. He does. It might be the owner of the farmhouse. There's actually a lot of nice detail work in this. Ooh, what's that? Burnt lab report. Oh, an abject failure. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? So... They are just trying to grow sentient corn. Yeah, I think the, the premise is they, they grew sentient corn, though there's not really a whole lot of reason why they did so. Even they don't know it. Oh, oh what are... Carrots. Carrots. And other things. Now, look at those carrots. Are those the carrots that look like people? You know, they they have the stalks for yeah, legs Yeah, they've got, stuff. like, weird legs and shit. Okay, what did you pick up? Uh, I picked up a mallet. But what's that? I don't know. It's something oh, that can be placed there. That might be something from the sausage oh, thing. It looks yeah, like... maybe. Well, we got the mallet, so we can try and take that downstairs. Yeah, here. We can get a better look at some of these. It doesn't look like any of them are like in the process of growing faces or anything like that. Nah. I, I wouldn't put it past this game to have that. I really wish I could beat this gnome in a smug-ass face. <laughs> So there was nothing to open up the treasure chest? No, nope. nope. it looks like it's just a completely unassuming trunk. The one thing uh, that this game does do is more or less, by by virtue of the fact that everything is outlined in white or yellow to interact, you pretty you much don't, don't to have to like investigate too much. Yeah, it's, it's very hand-holding in that nature, which I'm kind of okay with. It's not that I dislike this game, but uh, the motion blur and FOV are going to make me uh, very ill by the time we're done done with this. Like, I might actually only be able to do about an hour of gameplay at a time Aww. before I'm like, I can't do any more. And then I'm gonna have to go light it, lie down for a bit. Be careful. Okay, that's another interesting thing. The painting. portrait work is great. Oh, fuse box. A fuse box. Missing a fuse. Missing a fuse. Now, I want to see what's scattered on the floor. Are those ashes? Dirt? It's just dirt and grime. I mean, there's a layer of water. This is trash. Uh, like, this place is just disgusting. And that's kind of supposed to be the point of it all. Are those melons? Gourds? Yeah. There's something, all right. Oh, wait, there's two stairways. Where does the other one go? Up to, oh, that. Unlatch it from the inside. Well, I dig shortcuts. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go find a fuse somewhere else. Can you look in the electrical box next to it? Or no, it does not outline, so you wouldn't be able to anyway. Yep. I'm still surprised we couldn't find a way to use the sausage grinder or get the stuff out of the sausage grinder. 
I'm sure we'll get the, the thing for it fairly soon. I think it's time for us to probably move on here. I'm going to bring us back up for a bit. Just want to check over these shelves. I'm not seeing anything. I also want to see if I can open up the back door. The answer is no. Always got to try. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it looks like um, unless something new has popped up, we need to go elsewhere. Let's see, the boxes is... The boxes have hem hemmed us in now. Uh, so at least those ones. Yeah. So, I mean, I actually kind of like the fact that it hems us in. Because then we kind of know. Hey, th did this way open up? Um. Oh, no, no, no. We still have to go this way. Fact. This is the way I came from. I I'm glad it hems us in. I hate the, uh, the age-old uh, adventure game style of, like... You don't know where to go. Time to just wander the entire world, Do trying everything until you figure it out. you want to go back to that building just to see if you can put the muffin or anything else into it? Uh, I, I tried the muffin on things. I'm, I'm going to keep looking around. I, I'm talking... that's the same guy. Maybe it is. I think so. I was talking about the first building that you ever encountered. Uh, you mean on the other side of the fence? No, no, no. Not the other side of the fence. It was the first one we encountered that you couldn't interact with. Um, with the DNA symbol and the hand. Oh, yeah. That seems really unlikely that I'm suddenly going to be able to interact with it in any meaningful way. Can you way. interact with the water spout? Nope. Oh. Yep. Huh. Okay. Let me just try progressing. I don't think we could go this far last time. Oh, no, no, we, we didn't. could. Oh, we, we could. did. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Let's hammer that. Or pull it out. Got it. Okay. How did you get it out? Rusty nail with nail clippers. Oh, you pinched it. Okay, so what can we put the nail in that we couldn't use before? I... Do you want to try the sausage grinder? The... Oh, uh... uh, we got the sausage grinder. We got the, the desk upstairs. Wait, and what desk? There was the desk with like a weird thing. Oh, a weird thing that we could put on it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got fuse box, but I don't think... Oh. Use oh. rusty nail as a fuse against safety regulations. Restore oh. power to the farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. Okay, I wonder if this will allow us to see more. I, I don't like the noise. I can't tell if that's us moving or something upstairs or whatever. It probably doesn't matter too much. Oh, let's go inside the actual house. Okay, so we don't we don't have anything that interacts with these yet. I suppose in the lit rooms it would uh, be here we go. helpful. Okay. Oh. Bobby pin. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote every uh, a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice that there was no ink until a few... What? Hours ago? Okay. Well, what about the cassette? Actually, first I want to see the mallet. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool, but remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It's the mallet's greatest weakness. Okay, CD player, we get... What's the CD? A disc. Top secret. You picked up a CD, good for you. A new path is open to you. To the barn and silo. An old CD, its label faded. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created, this brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Yay. Okay, so now we can go to the silo in the barn, was it? Yeah, but let's see if we could... Hey, hey! A uh, game system. A, yeah, it's a SNES. A SNES. Though it's uh, labeled a Batari. Oh, and it has an Atari stick. And a, a SNES gamepad. That's great. <laughs> or I guess that's an NES. The SNES one was rounded. Whatever. I never, I never went back Let's go in the other far. room. Can you put the disc away, by the way? No. Clamp to the table. 
was worth a shot. Okay. I, I think you're supposed to play that in some kind of device. No, 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 don't go out yet. What? But we're supposed to go to the silo and no, the No, go barn. the other room, please. Which one? Left to one to the left. This one? Yes, now that it's lit. Congrats, there's nothing in here. I just wanted you to look at it because it hadn't been lit before. This is truth. All right, let's head for the the barn. You don't need to say of. congrats. No, I know. I, I am, That's being very condescending. I am. I am being a bit of a dick here. This this headache is only getting worse, and I want to like get through things as fast as possible. Um, because the sooner I'm done with this game, the sooner I don't have to deal with uh, extreme motion sickness. Let's look it up. Press E to examine your things. No, for no, clues. no! Please look up at the title. Boot butch sub great kidney cure? What? Not a clue. I'm just worried you're gonna break that CD. I don't think I'm going I don't think it I'm capable of breaking it. Okay, that's Oh the silos. Uh we can keep going to the silo. Well let's check out the, the barn first. Yeah. Yeah, adventure games rarely if ever put you in a permanent fail state. Uh, I've, I've in fact only ever run into one or two. Oh, hey, these are pens game for animals. Properly, yep. Like goats or sheep. Yep. Though mm. there's milk, so it, but it wouldn't be cows. It would no. If you had the cows, be they'd be. Hey, they're not horseshoes. Back here. Yeah. They're, they must have had some horses. Uh, yeah, they maybe had. Wait, what? That's a. Uh, That's a lay like working machine. Okay, machines. here we go. Okay, corn of the world. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. So they're trying to breed corn species together to get the sentient corn? I... I guess? Ooh, okay, so we get a broom. broom. Oh, they had their muscle build. Oh. <laughs> wow. Get pumps. That is goofy looking. That muscle right there is just like, eh. Uh, well, go to the end. What are you doing? I, I'm backtracking a bit. There's a lot of boots and gloves here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. See? Oh, hey, it's like the human. Yeah, but not diagram. quite. A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. What? I always get the feeling we are also a sentient corn. Uh. It would explain the, like, weird dialogue and observations and stuff. Why you're trying to eat paper all the time? Yeah. All right, so we got the broom. I guess we uh, we take the broom out of here and go on to the silo. So I'm not seeing anything to interact with down here. Let's see, that's the house. Um, let's keep going. Yeah, wow, I'm getting... It's a bad point headache. Uh, I think developers. it's just because the corn is passing you on either no, side. No, no, it's the motion blur when I turn. And mm. the limited field of view. I guess I'll head for the silo for the time being. Uh, not many games do you, uh, force you into this kind of thing, but this one does, and I'm not a fan. All right, so bobby pin. Yeah, you open the padlock. Luckily, the bobby pin's gone, so we never have to worry about it again. Oh. Okay, silo door. We oh, have a hey, telescope. A telescope. Well, you just take the whole telescope. Guess so. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees, possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. It looks like it was used frequently, with varying results. <laughs> okay. And... Let's see. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looked like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an, uh, is that, I, I'm assuming that's architectural, because it's Yeah, architectural. Because it, see how it's architectural? Yeah, uh. well this, this is, I don't think this is, uh, English is the developer's first language. Oh, 
record for having the largest number of corridors that leads absolutely nowhere. And it says, why did we build all of this? Yes. Uh, okay. So is the scientific facility below ground? Yep. So we have to find our way down. Oh, hey. C-O-I-O-3. I don't know the point of that. Oh, but... no, 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 no. Look at it again. C. Because it could be a chemical o formula. I O three. So that would be like. Because there's like carbon monoxide, but then O three is ozone. Yeah, I so... don't. So I'm not. I'm not. Pile of corn kernels. And needle nose pli pliers. Okay, so we've gotten. The pliers will be helpful. Yeah, so we've gotten uh, rid of the, the broom. Now we got pliers. I'm going to explore the maze a little bit. Um, but my bet is we're not going to find anything particularly useful down this direction. Actually, O3 is an ozone, is it? it O3 Stop is the pressing stuff. Stop Q, no. O is the stuff that they use in. Oh, yeah. Refrigerators and stuff, and then it bonds to ozone, and then. Yeah. It, it ruins the atmosphere. I don't remember. Anyway, you saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. You know this because you spend an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. They're well, not wrong, now actually. We know. However, hey, for starters, we got to get a very fashionable fedora and. What? Ooh, a okay. card. So a very fashionable fedora, worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name, Fernando. Okay. And... It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it was near, and that the, his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize that you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. Wait, where's the dead person? <gasps> and why? Why was... What's up with all the clamps? Uh, he was, he was probably electrocuted? electrocuted, yeah. Oh, that's why his hair is... Blown back. back. Yeah. And I have a gloved severed hand that somehow has withstood oh, the test of time. Oh, wait, you have a severed hand? Does yes. it say? A gloved severed hand. A severed hand, perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. Oh. Okay, ew. yeah. So they're saying that it was... This, was this... Stock of corn here? Did I just spawn inside of it? I have no idea. I that was really weird. I thought it was... Wait, so is that all that was in the clearing? Can you yeah. check again? Because there's the red boxes. There's nothing else in here. So the question is... I mean, the corn must have done this to him. Probably? Yeah, there's a giant... Nobuloid there. That's weird. Because who would set the clamps on him? Not Surely not I'm himself. not sure. Either way, we're going to go back to the farmhouse because we've got two things we can deal with. We've got the pliers that can get whatever it is out of the meat grinder, and we've got the hand, which can be used on the, the hand scanner. Oh, uh, yeah. right. <laughs> but then what goes on the, the other thing? The CD? Or something else? It what do you mean? It looked more like it was shaped like a vinyl. The circle? Which which one where? So the hand on the lab thing. There oh, was, there was well, there's DNA, DNA hand, and maybe it is the disc. I don't know. We'll find that when we get there. I'll I'll take it. First, we're gonna go with the needle nose pliers, because that's the most obvious thing that we can interact with. Okay, warped key fob. What is a key? Oh, hey. Yeah, so it's like the the thing you put on your keys, so they're easy to hold on to. Anyway. This warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first, you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set out to find a tool that will do the job much better. I already have the tool. Well, is the mallet? Let's get gross. Oh, okay. yeah, you loosen. What? Oh, gross. Now we have the hand. Well, at least I can go help. Uh, 
you know, make myself useful. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, we need to go to the attic, yeah. Already on my way. And then we need to put the key thing on the table. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you even so smashed flat. Now I think we might be able to get to the lab because we've got the um We got the DNA tag. A CD and a hand. Which should be enough. This is kinda of fucked up, by the way. Uh-huh. I mean Okay, so that's the way to the barn. That's what you're dealing with with porn. Yep. I'm glad that they put these markers here so it'd be easier to tell where and where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do ish there. I don't know. There was nothing else that we could interact with, right? Not really. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's anything to interact with. I think we're we're good to go. I, I like how linear this is. I a lot of uh, a lot of adventure games are kind of like aimless wandering, and I kind of prefer it when it's uh, directional. Unless there's like a lot of like interesting things to do and see, this works better. So this must be the underground yep. facility. Yeah, that's the disc, and that's the hand. All right. This is horrifying, sort of. <gasps> no, 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 no. Hey! 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 <gasps> you must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every time? Oh, I've I did a vote for him. on the election. Oh, we should just give him help with that. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I uh, Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh. Man. Well, They're I like funny. the writing so far. I'm glad oh, we- Oh, watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. 